All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about creating our layout for our app. So typically in apps, you'll see a top bar that'll have the logo of the app, and then on the, over on the right, you'll have maybe some links to change different pages. So we're gonna be creating two pages, the dashboard and the settings in this app. And then as you click on those links, it will then change the content of the app. So using CSS Grid, we're gonna be creating our layout here that we can then implement those features on top of. So first, we're gonna get started by changing this div to be the grid container. So in the CSS grid, you have a grid container, and then you have the grid items under which live inside of that container. So let's create a grid container. So we're just gonna call this our app layout. And that's gonna be a div. And to make something a grid, you're just gonna set display equal to grid. And then now we can set the app layout on that overlaying grid. Inside of that grid, we're gonna want three elements. We're gonna want a logo. So first, let's change this custom element to be a logo. And then this one, we'll, we'll call this a control button. So first at the logo, we'll say the font size is going to be 1.5 EM. Control button will just be a regular div, so we don't want to extend the logo there. We'll have one control button be the settings, and then the other control button be the dashboard page. The first element that we're going to be changing here is going to be the logo. So we're going to call that crypto dash. I'm going to put the text in there. And then the next element we're going to call, it's going to be a control button with the text dashboard. And then we're going to highlight this and duplicate that so that we can call this one settings. All right, so we're gonna save that and see what we have so far. Okay, we have failed to compile. So uh, div is not defined on line nine. So I made a little typo here, style.div. And okay, so now we have our logo and then our two settings. Now you'll notice that they aren't they aren't in any columns right now because the default for the grid is to lay them out in terms of row. So we want to actually define some columns here. So as a lesson for CSS grid, we're going to operate on our container element, which is this app layout right here. And we're gonna define our grid template columns. Now to first show you what this looks like, we're just gonna define three columns that are all 100 pixels as a simple example. So basically, as you define these column widths, they're gonna go in order of, of that you define them in. So the logo will get the first one, the control, the first control button will get this style and so forth. So you could do hard pixel lengths or you can do the FR command right here, which is actually going to be a resizable, uh, it's gonna auto fit to the width that you have there. So we do one FR, we save that, we could see that it's evenly spacing these out. Now we're gonna use the WebKit inspector for the first time here to actually look at what we have so far in this grid. So if we hover over the elements after we click this item here, we could see that we have we have our grid element here at, to at the top, and then we could see each element is evenly spaced columns. What we actually wanna do is on our app layout, we're gonna give this some padding first because there's a little too much padding here, uh, or there's actually not enough padding. So we're gonna say padding 40 pixels, and we're gonna save that. Okay, so now we have a little more room here in our app. We have some padding, so we could see, let's see that. You can see that this green is gonna be the padding. If you look over here at, down here, you can see the padding is taking into effect. That's generally the most basic example for CSS Grid. We're gonna now do a little more advanced properties now using the auto property. So we actually want these dashboard and settings control buttons to float over to the right, and we want the logo to stay over to the left. So in order to do this, we're gonna to wanna to define hard width for the first logo. And then we're gonna say auto, and then we're gonna add in two hard widths for the remaining buttons. Now the auto is basically a placeholder that is gonna auto fit to the remaining space. So let's just say, so we're gonna add in a div here to auto fit. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so now we have a grid layout where we have one column that's over to the left, and then we have an auto fit column which fits 
all the space that we can and then the remaining column. So basically what this is doing, it's saying, okay, we have the, we have the 100 pixels, the 100 pixels for these two columns over here, and we have the 180 pixels columns here. The CSS grid is gonna automatically determine the width of the remaining elements, which are gonna be this spacer div. Uh, so just like that, we have a single row column layout here for our settings. And we are going to commit this actually. So we're going to go over here. We're gonna look a review that the changes that we made are appropriate. So we have viewed this and we can see that that looks good. So we are going to commit. And we're gonna call this commit add app bar. 